Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com with our update for Friday, April 10th, 2020. We've got Minnesota Vikings upcoming season preview on this report. Going to talk their over-under wins chances and also uh, their divisional odds in just a moment. And also wanted to mention a little information on the Chinese Baseball League, which of course is held in Taiwan. And uh, we'll get to that in just a moment also. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, want to give it a trial run either now when some of the guys are doing horse racing or soccer or for instance Taiwanese baseball or want to wait until uh, North American sports gets back into swing uh, then here's the thing you can go over to DocSports.com click on the link below the video get set up for a free $60 account and then use those free 60 bucks on a package of your choice daily package of your choice any of the handicappers over at DocSports.com free $60 account well real quick note on the UFC if you haven't heard by now it's been canceled 249 as of late Thursday afternoon, we got the news uh, that they won't be holding UFC 249 or any UFC events for the foreseeable future. Uh, so we'll wait and see how it plays out. I know Dana White's doing his best in a healthiest situation to be able to get some UFC, some MMA cards up and going in North America. But for now, 249, which was scheduled for next weekend, uh, it is going to be canceled. And of course, we'll update you with that baseball, basketball, and everything else as uh, we get closer to some more information, to some more news. So that's the latest when it comes to UFC. No new news, so to speak, on the other major North American sports. As far as Chinese professional baseball, Baseball League or the CPBL. It does get underway this Saturday. First pitch, 5.05 a.m. Eastern, 2.05 a.m. Pacific. Now, most of the games, there's only one game on Saturday, but most of the games will start as early as 5.05 a.m. Eastern and as late as 6.35 a.m. Eastern time. And so just keep that in mind if you're going over to DocSports.com to jump on board with these plays. We will have free picks from time to time on the Taiwanese Baseball League and also the Taiwanese Basketball League got underway on Thursday morning. I'm not involved right now with the Taiwanese Basketball League. Uh, handicapping that over the last couple of days. We're going to see if we can find any uh, good angles, value, that kind of stuff before we jump into it. But we've already been handicapping uh, the Taiwanese baseball CPBL and uh, I'll tell you right now if you don't know already this is one heck of a high scoring exciting league there's a few teams four or five teams uh, but the bottom line is is that they put runs on the board and they don't mind playing four hours the fans love it and that's the kind of style of baseball you see now the way the bound the ball is wound uh, you've got a situation where because of the high humidity the high temperatures uh, and the fact that it is wound as tight as it is the ball uh, that it really allows players to rip away uh, at the plate when they're up to bat. So you're going to see a lot of runs being scored. Uh, you're not going to see 2-1, to 1-0, one, 3-2 one to two type of games for the most part. And as you can already tell, and I'm bringing up the, the lines as we speak, right out of the gate, there's three games that have been lined. Uh, one Saturday game, two on Sunday morning. And the lowest total of the three is 11 juice on the over. And it goes all the way up to 12.5. It's not unusual to see totals of 13, 13.5. Think of this as be in the Coors Field every night. Uh, they will play at empty stadiums. That's going to be interesting because by now you've probably already seen baseball played in the Far East and you see crazy wild crowds who are in it from the opening pitch until the final at bat, especially when the home team is up at the plate to bat. They're not going to have uh, anybody in the stands, empty stadiums. So that aspect of the league will be taken away from the sport. Still going to see that tightly wound baseball. Still going to see Pitchers who have problems, and I'm talking about the bullpens, uh, the mop-up rolls, all that kind of stuff. The bullpens do suffer in this league quite a bit, and uh, we're still going to see high-scoring games for the most part. My plays, here's how we're going to do it, because they do start so early in the morning, uh, that I'll be posting my plays the day before in the afternoon in the other sports box over at my homepage at DocSports.com. Uh, and of course, those will be gone and unavailable after about 10 p.m. Pacific time that night for the games that are starting bright and early the very next morning. So kind of give you a heads up over there. If you check out my Handicappers homepage, you'll be able to stay tuned to what I'm doing and get used to the different hours. Again, if you want to jump on board, we don't have a free pick for Saturday, probably have one for Sunday's games, couple of games on Sunday, a little bit more to choose from. But that's the CPBL, Taiwan Baseball League in a nutshell. I'll be betting on it. I'm looking forward to getting involved. With the playing baseball, I will be involved in some fashion or another. Gonna have 
have some fun with this league. All right, that's enough about that and about the UFC. Oh, what I want to do, though, is get into uh, the next division. We've already cleared now two divisions with our previews. And let's move on now to the NFC North where we're talking about the Minnesota Vikings for 2020. And since I spent so much time on the Taiwan B Baseball League, I won't make you stay here a long time uh, with my Minnesota Vikings preview, but we'll give you the most important keynotes. First of all, at William Hill, they're plus $1.50 to win the division. Uh, the over-under wins total at William Hill is nine, and there's more juice on the under at minus $1.25. Listen, Minnesota's road schedule is extremely difficult. I mean, outside of their division, they could go one and four straight up on the road and still be a good football team. Uh, and of course, they've got the divisional road games that they have to play also, which includes at Green Bay. Uh, never an easy game, obviously. And if you play over nine, you can't afford many more road losses than four or five, obviously. And uh, listen, what I like what they did, I know he takes a lot of flack. I know a lot of people like to give him a hard time, but I think the re-signing of Kirk Cousins was the best thing Minnesota could do in the offseason. He signed him for two more years. And remember, he's coming off a career year. He had a good season last year, no doubt about it. And Kyle Shanahan uh, was being talked about as being somebody who was interested in Kirk Cousins after this coming season. He could have gone out and signed him in free agency. So hence the two-year deal by the Vikings. I think they did the best thing that they could under the circumstances in re-signing Cousins. I do like the fact that they stole defensive tackle Michael Pierce from Baltimore. That's a huge A-plus free agent pickup. No two ways about it. Uh, they franchise tag their safety, Anthony Harris. The secondary should be terrific with the Minnesota Vikings. And the over-under, again, the over-under win total is nine. I do believe this team wins 10 games this year. You look at the home slate, you got the divisional games, of course, against Chicago, Detroit, Green Bay. But check out their other home games, Jacksonville, Tennessee, Atlanta, Carolina, Dallas. Every single one of those five non-divisional home games are winnable. There's a couple there that are losable, so to speak, uh, but they could easily go 5-0 and oh in a non-division play with their home schedule. Now, I mentioned the road schedule. Of course, you've got the division teams, Bears, Lions, Packers. This is where it gets tough, too. You've got at Houston, at Indianapolis, at New Orleans, at Tampa Bay, at Seattle. There's not a gift win in the bunch. One and four straight up, you know, outside of the division on the road could be the best they can do. Maybe one and five when you include their divisional road game. So they've got to take care of business at home. I think they will. I think they've got a great shot at home to go seven and one, including both division and non-divisional games on their home turf. And because of that, I do like the Minnesota Vikings to finish the season with 10 wins. Again, the over-under is nine. I like them to win 10. Over nine minus $1.05 is the price at William Hill. That'll take care of the Minnesota Vikings as we kick off the NFC North. Next up, we'll do the Chicago Bears. Uh, three teams to go in this division, then we'll finish off the NFC in the NFC East. That's it for now. Don't forget, uh, play for Saturday in Taiwanese baseball will be available at DocSports.com on Friday for Saturday's game. And again, Saturday's game goes at 5.05 a.m. Eastern, 2.05 a.m. Pacific. We'll be right back here around 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Saturday at the very latest with our next report. If you like the videos, Click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Talk to you bright and early Saturday morning.